how to calculate debt coverage ratio or DCR. It's pretty simple too. All right, so now I'm gonna use my age old example of a five unit apartment building and basically your, your debt coverage ratio, we'll call it DCR from now on, is the ability of the property's net income to cover the mortgage, okay? So if you, cl you collect all the income, you pay expenses, what's left over, you want that to be a certain amount over what your monthly mortgage payment is, right? If it's under your mortgage payment, then you're, you're negative cash flow. So you want your net income to be higher than your mortgage. And this spread here, this spread here, net income and mortgage, is the debt coverage ratio, so ratio. So you want this ratio to be a certain number. All right, let me show you the calculation. All right, so the debt coverage ratio is your NOI, okay? Your, your net operating income, okay? Divided by your annual mortgage payments. So remember, your NOI, your NOI is your, your income minus expenses. You want that number, the 44,000, to be somewhat greater than your annual mortgage payments of 34,128. Okay, so NOI divided by annual mortgage payments, right? So 44,000 divided by your, uh, your annual mortgage payments of 34,128 equals 1.3, okay? So your NOI is 1.3 times higher than your mortgage. This means your positive cash flow, okay? Now, look at a DCR 1.0, this number is 1.0, that means you're breaking even. That means your NOI and mortgage payments are equal. That means you have no cash flow. You're breaking even. It's not good, right? Most lenders require you to be at least 1.2 and higher, okay? 1.2 and higher. Now, for, from a lender standpoint, and this is true from your standpoint too, the higher the DCR, from a lender's eyes, the less risky it is because the higher the DCR, the more cash flow you have. The more cash flow you have, the lender looks at this as being a safer deal, okay? So when you're, when you're running your calculations or evaluating your property, pay attention to DCR. You want it to have a ratio of at least 1.3. In this example, it's 1.3, the NOI, divided by my annual mortgage payments, okay? My mortgage payment was 28.44 times 12, which is 34,132 and that equals 1.3. Got it? All right, so there you are, how to calculate debt coverage ratio.